Ansgar, let's talk about the Paxau, the patting hand. With the Paxau, you practice vertical spiral movements upwards and downwards. Focus on how this twisting, left and right, helps to release excessive tension in all parts of the body, step by step. There are many areas in the body you can focus on, not just the shoulder blades. Observe how your open hand, the closed hand, the soles of your feet and more centers of tension are linked to the twisting axis. Simply work your way through the body in the order and at the speed that fit your current conditions best. Again, it's body hand. It starts in the toes and lifts through the body. There's not really any pushing here. Let it happen. Let it unfold. This way of moving also lifts tension off your inner organs and it increases their vitality. You must be especially aware of your vertical axis. No matter whether you particularly focus on the flow of qi along and around the central axis of your body, around spine and head, or the general flow of qi into, through and out of the body. According to Taoist philosophy, this is an important means to harmonize in and yang and to be in harmony with yourself and with your environment. It's left and right, up and down, etc. It's important always to involve the opposite aspects in a movement and to try to make it something that is whole. The word and is significant in talking about left and right, up and down, for instance. It's both at the same time. So you're stretching and opening, coiling and uncoiling. You are a continuation of basic principles of life on countless levels. Just think of the pulsing movement of your heart, the extending and shrinking movement of the lungs, the peristaltic movement of the intestines, and so on and on. These are the principles you work with. This is what is truly meant in Taoist philosophy when talking about long life. This literally is Wing Chun. You can do this in a Pak Sao also more expressively. Now you're really generating tremendous elasticity. Unlike heavy workouts, however, this way of doing expressive movements is not exhausting. Like this, you can easily do a high number of repetitions, get into a rhythm and create a space that makes it easier to observe, listen and learn. This is about facilitating more instinctive and intuitive movements. As you continue with this practice, you have the opportunity to harness your own movement as energy, a kind of conservation of energy. The idea is to open up and to blend in that much that you need to use less and less of your own energy in the movements because you're increasingly more capable of using the energy available in the whole energetic field you are operating in, simply by being able to letting it flow right through you. That is the idea of Tung in Chinese, as of in Qi Tung Bu Tung, the question whether Qi is being able to flow freely without obstruction. Uh.